was another beautiful day. At least in the afternoon and evening, the wind started to blow and cooled it down a little bit because it was a warm one. It was hot. <laughs> yeah, like a, we'll put a red sticker on the weather for HOT. <laughs> you know, that's the color most of our maps are turning this afternoon. And it looks like this heat is going to continue probably for the next several days. We're talking the end of the week before we really see some relief. Hottest temperatures of the year so far 94 at the Sunport, just too shy of our record. 87 at the Santa Fe Airport. Taos, you hit 82, 84 Vegas. Look at most of southern New Mexico in the 90s or triple digits. 107 in Carlsbad. I think your record high for the date was actually 109. So you're shy of a record, but just barely. Let's look ahead here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Numbers on the left here. These are the record highs for the date. Tomorrow's record high 96. We're forecasting a 94. Tuesday's high 95. We're forecasting a 96. We're forecasting a record tying 96 on Wednesday. Finally, by Thursday, that's when our forecast highs ease just a little bit. And that's when the record highs jump about four or five degrees up to about 100 degrees. Now, tips to stay cool when it's hot like this. You need to wear loose fit, light colored clothing, preferably something cotton. It'll kind of help pull the sweat off your body. Take in lots of water based fluids. Avoid the alcohol, folks. Uh, wear sunscreen. Don't get a sunburn when it's this hot. And if you've got to be outdoors, try to do it early in the day. Get your walk or jog in right around daybreak or so. Let's check in on the numbers right now. Seeing some relief in western and northern New Mexico where we have cooled into the 50s and 60s, it's still 83 degrees at the Albuquerque Sunport. And we still have plenty of 70s and 80s across southern New Mexico. We've lost those gusty winds. Still seeing a gust of 25 in Rudo, so 18 Angel Fire, 21 Hobbs. Otherwise, the winds are coming down and we look ahead towards tomorrow. I don't think it's going to be as windy as today was. For the most part, it's a good looking day in the wind department. West and northwesterly winds, probably in that 5 to 10 or maybe up to 15 mile per hour range. Now we have this low off the coast of California. It's initially digging in right now, and that's just going to pull up more warm temperatures. This low is going to slide past on Tuesday and on Wednesday. That will result in stronger afternoon winds. And when the winds get stronger and it's real hot like this, that actually helps drive the temperature up just a little more. We're looking ahead towards Tuesday, and we'll check out Wednesday. These are going to be the hottest two days of the week ahead. Tuesday, that's our 96. That would be a new record in Albuquerque. 104 Sakoto, same story around the Elephant Butte. 105 Roswell, 106 Carlsbad. Now let's look ahead towards Wednesday. How hot is it going to be? Well, about the same as Tuesday. We'll have those breezy afternoon wind conditions, almost 90 Santa Fe, mid 90s Albuquerque, and back in the mostly triple digits across eastern and southern New Mexico. So it is going to be a hot week ahead. It doesn't really cool off until Thursday and Friday for us. 102 to 104 from Roswell down to Carlsbad. You'll basically hit 100 or 102 in Alamogordo tomorrow afternoon, even hitting 90 in Rudosa, southern Rio Grande Valley. It's mostly triple. Digits 95 tomorrow in Silver City. West Central and Northwestern New Mexico, good for about 90 to 92 degrees. Even in the southwestern Colorado, we're expecting mid and upper 80s. North Central Mountains, Santa Fe, Taos, Los Alamos, well into the 80s, low 90s around the Espanola Valley. And we check it on northeastern New Mexico, maybe just shy of about 90 degrees for Raton and Vegas. I think Moriarty, Santa Rosa, you will be in the low to mid 90s and we'll be right around 90 for those East Mountain communities of the Albuquerque Metro. And tomorrow's high temperature, 94, right where we were today. Most tonight, they'll dip down into the 50s. In the river valley, otherwise only dipping down to about 60 degrees. Here's a look at that seven day forecast. Now, tomorrow's winds, they stay relatively light for us. Tuesday will be an extreme fire danger day. And you can see it's going to be Thursday, Friday before that heat really starts to ease, Doug.